holder of solipsism. So, you think you can get my object? You don't know anything of my pain. I know. I was in your place once. The objects have the power to create their own pocket dimensions. I don't know why. I suppose it's for us. The holders. We can shape it to our will. The glass eye brought me here a long time ago, and now I am charged with protecting it. It whispers to me sometimes. I'm all alone so often, and it tells me things. It tells me about what it knows. It tells me tales of ignorant people. It tells me it was born from the ignorance of the humans, of the seekers. It tells me what they've done. I listen because no one else is here. Lately, they've been coming, though. Up above is a building. A building for people, crazy people. These are the people closest to me. I feel comfortable here. But then they came looking for me. They asked to see me. Sometimes they came into my world. They were looking for me. They were looking for my glass eye. But they didn't get past my minions and my traps. Most of them died, but some of them got away. They got away to tell others what they did wrong. Then my minions would punish the one who let the seekers in. He grew afraid of me. He wouldn't let the seekers in so easily again. But still they came. They kept coming closer to me. Some of them even came into my room. Here I sit, in a room with a single chair, with mirrors on every surface, finding me holding my glass eye. Some of them screamed and killed themselves. Others just fled from the room. I guess I don't look human anymore. Some of them stayed to talk to me. I don't know what they said. I just killed them on their feet. I know what they came for. And they're not getting it. Except for you. You came and you said something horrible. You said, How can we understand them? You want to know how you can understand them? You, a human, an ignorant seeker. You, who knew nothing of the minds of others. I told you what you needed to hear. I told you of the ignorance you and your kind suffered from. I told you of all the horrible things your kind has done because of ignorance. Yet, still, you listened. I laid bare the truth of your ignorance to you, yet you still didn't cow to me. The truth of the ignorance of humanity was not breaking you. Were you truly a human? Perhaps the glass eye lied to me. Would you hear the same whispering voice that I heard? I held the eye out to you, and you took it. Without looking back, you turned and left me. I thought you might have been the one. The one who could hold the object without hearing its lulling voice. But I'm beginning to miss that lulling voice. It was the only company I had, and now I'm just alone. You, Seeker, took my only company, no matter if you deserved it or not. Only now I'm not bound here. The object is gone. What is to keep me from leaving now? What is to keep me from coming after you? 
you took my glass eye, object 462 of 538. Now I'm free, and I want it back.